Hello everybody, I'm Austin Speaker and this is the Golden Minute, your weekly recap show for all things Golden Eagles. As you notice, I am wearing pink and will be doing so throughout October for breast cancer awareness. Let's get started as a couple of senior day events occurred over the weekend as we start with field hockey, who unfortunately fell to Utica 5-1 on Saturday with a lone goal coming from Olivia Douglas. The girls rebounded on Sunday, traveling to Wells College and winning 4-2. Margot Tremaine was the star of that contest, putting in two of the four goals for Brockport. And their last game of the year will be on Saturday the 28th as they travel to Ithaca. Men's soccer also had a big, big weekend with a win against Plattsburgh State 2-0 on Friday and a senior day win against Potsdam 7-1 on Saturday. That's the most goals scored by Brockport in a game since 2013 when they defeated Potsdam 7-3. Chris Ahern and Russell Hines gave Brockport all the goals they needed against Plattsburgh State while Cameron Beal and senior Justin Mercer each put in two goals against Potsdam, with the other three contributors being Connor DeSantis, Ryan Colin, and Michael Duran. Brockport locked up the four seed heading into the SUNYAC tournament, but not before they faced the University of Rochester in a non-conference match for their last game of the year on Monday the 23rd. Women's soccer lost to Plattsburgh State Friday 3-1, but came up big with a very important win against Potsdam on Saturday to secure the sixth place in the SUNYAC uh, giving themselves a spot in the SUNYAC tournament as they defeated the Bears 4-2. Molly Zantek scored two of the four goals for Brockport with Aja Holloway and Sarah Coville giving Brockport what they needed with each a goal. The ladies will take on Cortland in the SUNYAC tournament on Saturday the 28th. Women's volleyball was at Buffalo State for SUNYAC pool play as they swept all three matches for a total score of 9-0 against Potsdam, Buffalo State, and Cortland. The ladies look to keep their streak alive as they host RIT on Tuesday the 24th. Speaking of shutouts, Brockport football had a huge homecoming game against the Hawks of Hartwick as they put up a goose egg on defense with a 45 to nothing blowout win. Joe Germanario threw for 259 yards and four touchdowns, including 52 and 79 yard bombs both to Daquan Hubbard. Christian Hollister led the rushing game with 77 yards and a score. The defense not only held the Hawks to zero points on the board, but also recorded 12 sacks, which is the most ever in a Brockport football game, while also intercepting the ball three times, one of which was a pick six for Jake O'Connell off a nice tip in coverage by Julius Brunson. The Golden Eagles are now 7-0 as they travel to Buffalo State Saturday the 28th. Be sure to follow Brockport Athletics on all social media. Thank you for watching this week's edition of the Golden Minute. I'm Austin Speaker. Have a good day, everyone.